Did you know that there are many different ways to crop a video in Camtasia 2021? Well, if not, let me show you. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I recently got asked, how do you crop a video? How do you chop a video around the edges? So let me show you all the different ways that I know how to do it. First is the classic way where you basically have your media go up to the top here, click on this square thing, which is the crop tool. So I'm going to click on this. And from here, if you look really closely, you'll see that there was a blue outline that happened. When it's blue like that, and it has the squares instead of the circle nodes, that means you're cropping. So if I grab one of these nodes, you can see that I start to crop. And so this is one of the easiest ways to crop. And then you can do something like that. Or if you didn't want this whole chunk on this side here, you can crop that out and you can crop that and it's just you. And then if you're like, oh no, I don't really like that, you can just go back. So you can, while still on the crop tool, click on this, bring it back, bring it back here, and you can bring it back to its original form. You can always go back to how it looked like in the beginning. So that's the first way to crop. Here's the second way to crop. You can use here the corner rounding. So this is going to crop the corners and make it more round. To find the corner rounding tool, it's in my favorites, but usually it is in the visual effects and it should be here corner rounding. And I've obviously saved it so that it always shows up in my favorites. So let's play around with the corner rounding. Just click on it, drag it down. It's going to turn green and you can see right now it's very slight. You can't really see it. Let me just make this a little bit smaller so that we can see it a little bit better. See right now the corner rounding is very subtle, but you can see it already does make a difference. The corner rounding feature is awesome. I love it. I use it all the time when I have pictures come up on the screen, but let's make it a little bit more obvious that there's some rounding happening. So on the, on the right hand side, under corner rounding, after you've placed it on the media, you can see it's generally set to 20. And if we click the radius and we bring it up, it will do an even more corner rounding. So let's say something like that, it's at 105. So you can see it's quite obvious we've corner rounded it. And to give you reference to what it was before, I'm gonna turn it off, disabling the effect. And you can see it looked like that, right? And in my opinion, when you put on the corner rounding, it gives it more of a polished professional look, especially when you have pictures come up on the screen. And you can play around with how round you want the corners to be. If you're like, no, that's too round, you can go a little less at the 61. And then if you, you don't want to go too extreme because if you go really extreme, then it turns into an eye, <laughs> which can be cool. Right? I mean, if you're going for like an Egyptian thing or something, this would be cool. Actually, yeah, if you had Egyptian print all around this, this would actually look really cool. So when you go all the way to the end, it goes up to 1000 and then you can bring it back down. You can even look, this is like a capsule. This looks like a capsule. So this is the second way to crop. This is mainly for the corners to crop the corners, making them round, rounded corners. So let's get rid of this. And the third way to crop is to use a shape on top. So let's say, you know, you're filming, right? And your scene doesn't look as good and you just mainly want the head and the shoulders, right? Kind of like portrait mode and you don't really want anything else. Well, what you can do is grab the circle shape. And if you don't know where that is, that's under annotations, go under shapes and then you want to find all and find the circle which is right here 
and obviously I've favorited it and it's in my favorites. What you want to do is grab that, bring it down here. Doesn't matter what the color is. And if you want just like the circle portion of you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this circle out and make it bigger, but I'm going to do that by holding the shift key so that it keeps its aspect ratio. What I find a lot of people do is they're like, oh, let me make this bigger, but then they do like this and then their circle isn't perfect anymore. It becomes like an ellipse or something like that or a stretched out whatever. So I'm just going to hit control Z, go back and I'm going to hold down shift while grabbing the corner and it's going to keep it as a perfect circle. And so let's say I go this size, I place it over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm also, I'm still in my favorites and there's this thing called media mat. If you don't have it in your favorites, you can head over to visual effects and it is here also under visual effects, but I will grab it from media mat and you just want to put this over the circle. So I'm going to click it, put it on there and then I'll stretch this out so that it'll go through and you can see that it makes me into a cropped circle, right? So you can see it got rid of, and we'll move the shape, right? It got rid of everything and it just put me in the circle. So if you want to do have that kind of a look, and I often do that for these tutorial videos when I'm on video, is I'm usually on the bottom right hand corner. So that's how you crop into a circle. Now you can essentially do this with any shape. You can, if we go back to annotations, go to shapes, go to all, you can see you have all these shapes here. You have this shape here, you have a triangle, you have a star, you have the classic, you know, rectangle and square. So you can have all different kinds of shapes that you want. The circle is the most common that people use. So I crop differently depending on what type of video it's going to be. If it's going to be a Camtasia tutorial, if it's a vlog, if it's just a talking head video. So it really depends on the, the scope of the project. And I use all three of these kinds of cropping methods. So choose which one you like, try them out. If you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course that you can get access to. There are over 70 lectures. And if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend you check it out. The link for that will be down in the description below. Hit the thumbs up button if you thought this video was cool and I'll see you in the next video.